All right, folks, so welcome back to the Steve Malsberg Show. Um, we are joined right now by the Malsberg Panel, and we welcome into today's uh, panel the uh, chair of the House Intelligence Committee, uh, Pete Hoekstra, and the author of WTF, How Call Rove and the Establishment Lost Again, uh, C. Edmund Wright. Hello, gentlemen. Hey, good to be with you, Steve. Hey, Steve. All right, thank you. Uh, do we have that soundbite ready to roll? Uh, I'd, I'd like to be okay. All right, this is Jay Carney responding to uh, a question about the email that was obtained by Judicial Watch, uh, which many have called a smoking gun, uh, where uh, the uh, one of the uh, White House officials, uh, uh, by the name, of course, of uh, Ben Rhodes, uh, who is the White House Deputy Strategic Communications Advisor and the brother of the president of CBS News, by the way. Uh, wrote in an email to 12 people, including Jay Carney, about Benghazi. The goal is to underscore that these protests are rooted in an internet video and not a broader failure or policy, which uh, would, would, would just uh, make everything the White House has said up to now a lie, I believe. Uh, let's listen to how Carney responded to a question about that from Jonathan Carl earlier today. This document was not about Benghazi. It was her prep for the, for the Sunday show. It wasn't shows. her only prep, John. She relied on, uh, her, for her answers on Benghazi, on the document prepared by the CIA, as did members of Congress. We, ex we uh, the White House, rather, and others involved in her prep, said when it comes to Benghazi, there's been a document prepared by the IC so that everybody is working off the same information, Republicans in Congress, Democrats in Congress, administration officials. Uh, this is what we know and what we are able to say about Benghazi at this time, and that's what she got. Now, Chris Farrell, uh, the director of uh, investigations and research for Judicial Watch, who was with me earlier, said that uh, Jay Carney is a liar. Uh, let's start with you, Congressman. Uh, blockbuster revelation and a pathetic attempt at, a, at more of a cover-up by Carney? Well, I have to do the smile here and make it look like I really heard the clip, but I didn't. I do know what the content was, that I believe Carney was saying it's not about, uh, the discussion was not about Benghazi. Um, so without hearing the clip, I can't go as far as saying that Carney's lying, but I'm sure on the email uh, trail, there's the date, uh, the background, and those types of things. And I can tell you, a day or two after Benghazi, there's nothing else that the White House would be talking about in these kinds of terms other than Benghazi. And when you're bringing in 12 of your communications experts, that's exactly what they're trying to deal with. This is about Benghazi. Well, let me, Congressman, it's, what he said, what he said was the first words out of Carney's mouth was the memo, the email was not about Benghazi. Um, yeah, well, then it's know. probably a pathetic <laughs> attempt uh, to cover up and continue the storyline that they started developing with that email. Yeah, uh, Edmund. Well, you know, I agree with the uh, Congressman. What, 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 I, did, I did hear the uh, video. And my question to Jay Carney would be, if it's not about Benghazi, what else would it have been about? I mean, read what it says. It very clearly said, you know, we're going to emphasize the video and not the broader Mideast policy. What could it be about? Fast and Furious? I, you know, I don't, you know, the GM bailout? I, I think this was about Benghazi, pretty obviously. You know, I, 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 I am a little dumbfounded and taken aback, even though, I, as I alluded to earlier, I know... Uh, that CBS was the only morning show to, to cover this. They did a story with Bill Plant where they named Ben Rhodes, told of his relationship to their own director of the news division at CBS. But NBC and ABC had no use for this story. I don't know what's going to happen tonight, but I would imagine it would be more of the same unless they, 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 they presented that Jay Carney just put the whole thing to rest by saying it wasn't about Benghazi, and that's the whole gist of it. But where are the Republicans? And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they're out there on the steps of the Capitol right now. Maybe uh, Boehner and the committee chairman and McConnell, and they're all out there, uh, and they're all outraged, and they're waving around the email. Uh, but I don't think so. And, and it's incumbent upon them. You know, Farrell from Judicial Watch also told me Boehner is AWOL and Mike Rogers is dead on arrival. I mean, where are these guys with this revelation? Congressman? Well, I mean, number one, Steve, this revelation should not have come from Judicial Watch. I'm glad that it did. Uh, you've got some groups out there that are, they're not letting go of Benghazi. But, you know, this is the kind of information that Congress should have had you know, a year and a half ago, they should have had it in the three or four weeks after uh, been after the attack. And 
you know, in a year and a half, they've never gotten close to this kind of information. This now says the storyline started in the White House, didn't start with the CIA talking points. This, this is a direct connection back into the White House. House Republicans should have been all over this. They have not. Why? Why? Where they've been, I don't know. Well, Edmund, maybe you know where they've been. Because <laughs> I not, neither of us know where they've been or what the heck they're doing. Well, yeah, remember, a week ago I wrote the article about how slow-witted John Boehner was. So I'm not going to rush to his defense. You know, there's buzz on the Internet today that John McCain's actually uh, part of the cover-up. We'll have to see where that story goes. Uh, and let's not forget the Mitt Romney campaign deferred to Candy Crowley. Uh, that was an outstanding chance with a massive national audience. Uh, to try ab to absolutely. Like a absolutely. She bailed out the president and uh, and, and, and Romney, uh, unfortunately, you know, backed off and did not did not pursue it and did not pursue it in fall in the days following. Well, that, yeah, I mean, that, that's the thing. OK, I can see that he was caught a little bit off guard, maybe in the second debate. But where was he in the third debate? I mean, he should have brought it back up or or, as you said, Steve, the following days. But again, you know, we we saw Susan Rice on what the five Sunday shows she did. It was clearly just a talking point robot. Uh, and and Carney's been caught, and that's why that was a very Congressman Hoekstra. You'll have to see it. He was very very jittery and stumbling around on that on that uh, interview. Well, the one thing you have yeah. to give the Obama administration credit for, since September 12, they have managed this storyline masterfully. They've kept it out of the media. It hasn't, you know, it's never been about what else has been, what else was going on in Benghazi. It never was about the failed policy in yeah. Libya and Egypt, Iran. I mean, this whole foreign policy is in tatters, and the Obama administration keeps talking about hitting singles, doubles, and every once in a while they get a home run. I don't know where they're even. Yeah, wasn't that wonderful? Single. <laughs> well, what did that, the uh, that was that was it? Say we could go to the. Uh, you know, join him at the space station off a trampoline. I mean, now we're, now we're an international punchline now. So. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. All right, guys, stay where you are. We're going to come back with part two of the uh, panel. Uh, we could uh, touch on the economy uh, where the uh, GDP was uh, uh, as pathetically low as it could possibly be and still be on the plus side uh, for the last quarter. And uh, we'll also touch on the NBA, where we stand. Don't go away, folks. We're coming back.